Hey, 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 I thought I would show you how to turn a blog post, how to create an image from a blog post. So let's get started. And this is using ChatGPT and Dell 3. So the first thing you want to do is to pick an article. So this is my She Leads website. And this is where I host my blogs. So I just want to pick up the text. Don't worry about the images. I just want the text. Um, ChatGPT will sort that out. Head to ChatGPT. So this, these are ones that I was playing around with before doing this video. I love this. But I'm going to talk about the words because um, it still really struggles with the spelling. New chat. ChatGPT4. Dali, I'm not quite sure how you say it, how you say it actually. So turn this copy into a land image, copy paste, and then it's going to read through the copy and it's going to give you back four photographic options. So let's just scroll down. See, now it started, it's taking the copy and what it's doing is describing four different photo, four different images. So photo, illustration, vector, oil painting. And it has read through the copy and it's going to take the key points and then it's going to create a image, four images that you can then work on. It's unlikely that it's going to get it right first time around. And it does take a few seconds, but it's it's interesting when you read through the description of how it's interpreted the copy. So photo, diverse group of female coaches engaged in a strategy session, charts and graphs on the walls, highlighting results focused strategies. They're collaboratively discussing ways to elevate their coaching. Yep, absolutely. Vanilla, this is the one that I really like the image from on the test it is that I was doing. I'll hop back over to that in a second. So this is what we've got so far. Now, it really struggles with the words. So what I want to do when I recreate the next set, the next set of images is ask it to do it without the words. Now, you can create, oh, I'm not sure how that one fits in. Classic era portraying a female coach with a determined expression. Hmm. No, don't like that one. Not, I'm not so keen on these. So what I want to do is come back out and say in the prompt box. Mine sticks for some reason, but I think that's probably because I'm in Thailand. So if it ever sticks, just refresh the page. So do, whoops, do these again without the words. Now, every time you ask for an image to be created, it is going to create a compl completely different image. Every time you create an image in AI, it's always different, always different. There's always something different, different about it. It's not the same, even if you ask it to create the same, it never turns up the same way. So let's see how it gets on with no words. So you can choose colors, you can choose backgrounds, you can fiddle with the images, you can change the age of the people. Now this is important for your business because you wanna think about who it is that you want to attract. So I mainly focus in on women who are, oh, here's one without words, although it doesn't really express what it is that I want to. This doesn't express what it is I want either. So let's just go back to the test that I did, the one with the vanilla ice cream, because I love that. I thought that was great. So I'm just going to copy the prompt. So it's not going to get it right first time out. 
first time off. So create four images like this with no words. I've just copied and pasted the prompt as I love the ice cream idea. I think that is brilliant. It's so visual, I can just see it. I can see straight away and I can see exactly what it means between, even though it's not spelled correctly, I can tell exactly what it means between a vanilla ice cream and a coaching program that is focused in on results. There's a massive, massive difference between um, straightforward coaching, going into a session and having no direction, and leaving it in the hands of the client, Whereas if you create something like a legacy signature coaching program, you've got all these different layers that you need to take people through with a cherry on top. Very nice. I like that. So come on, my ice creams. Let's see. Let's see what you're going to create. Oh, it's making me hungry. I think it's slower at my end, as I said, because I am in Thailand and it's generating the images. You can do this with any blog article as long as it's not too long. I think you've got about 2000 words that you can put into ChatGPT. So you can, in theory, go through your old posts and ask them to create an image for that post. And that's going to be great because these are 100% images that are aligned to your article. But also, where's my ice cream? Oh, it's really thinking about it. Also, what's really great is that they are 100% unique, which means that Google is going to favor them over stock images. This is taking longer than normal. I'm going to refresh the page and see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh, it says it's stopped. Okay, regenerate. I've never seen that before. That might be because I refreshed the page. Let's see, creating images. Please do it faster this time because it's very boring for people watching and they've got better things to do with their time. So just think about when you're creating new images, I mean, new blog posts, if you've got old blog posts, just copy and paste the copy into ChatGP3, no, ChatPT4, and then you can create the images as long as you have the upgraded version, which is ChatGPT4, and then you can create images as long as you have the image app clipped. So let me just show you where that was again. Oh, ChatGP24 images. I just noticed the images come up. Okay, yeah, I love this. This for me is perfect. Almost perfect, actually. Yeah, vanilla program, signature program. Love it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, this is great. So you've got all your different types of signature program. You've got a queue of people waiting to buy them, whereas here there's nobody. Brilliant, love that. They're a bit, um, they're not quite on point. So I'm going to copy this. And I like to do diamond, diamond dot. So you can change the colors, you can change backgrounds. Excuse me, me if my spelling is wrong, I am dyslexic, so I can't tell if it's spelled right or wrong. This is great. This is great. When I look at the images I have on the um, website at the moment, yeah, results by Wendy Keir. I really, really like the image of the ice cream because what I can do is I can pop it in here and then people can have a visual image and it's it, it, it's much clearer for me that way. Let's see what it's going to create this time. It's going to be vastly different from these images. 
this is a bit too childish for me. And um, yeah, I don't, I just don't like this style. Don't also like the colors. I mean, that one's okay. That I would use that one. Not so keen on the colors, but it, it shows the, it puts the point across visually. Uh, here we go. This is a diamond dart. Okay, it makes the ice cream, the vanilla ice cream, too flashy. I don't want it as flashy. Yeah, there's a cherry on top. It's really glammed the images up. Although I do like them. They could possibly be used for something else. Okay, so back to the drawing board. Let's create four. In other art forms, we generate. Oh, I've lost those images, bugger. Oh, have I? No, I haven't. They will. Oh, maybe I have. Oh, no, they're still there. Okay, so let's see. So, what it's going to do now is it's going to give me four different styles of ice cream, artistic styles of ice cream. It's a shame it used to, um, when it was creating the prompts, it used to have a list here and you could see how it was creating the prompts. It stopped doing that now, which is a shame. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's still done it in diamond art. Pretty. If you were an ice cream parlor, these could make really great. So did I make a mistake here? Create four other art forms. Okay, let's do create four other, oh, maybe I haven't spelled it right. Create four images in different art forms. Okay. Let's see. Okay, creating images. I've definitely got some sparkly ice cream. So it's bringing me back to this one now. This is the one I'm thinking is the most suitable and I will use it actually. So I don't know if you noticed on the blog here, but I actually have my name, Wendy here, Vanilla Coaching. You can add in the words, words you want to add, but just remember, it's not great at spell checking. So it could be, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. That's better for me. I prefer that one to the pink one. So I would use that. Cherry, no good. Mm, don't like that, don't like that. That's the one I would go for, this one. Perfect. Okay, let me just copy this and see if I can. Hmm. Wendy Kier, the vanilla. So what I've done is I've taken the one I like, I have copied the prompt, I have put it back in the uh, prompt box, and then I put add in words, Wendy Kier, don't be vanilla. Let's see what it does. But remember, every time you generate, you're going to create something new. Now, with this image, if you liked it, what you could do is scrub out the cherry. It may not work. It may not look 100%. I mean, you could try, but this one to me is fine. 
you could have it in different, you can have it in a different shape bowls, different color ice cream. <laughs> yeah, see, look, it hasn't done it. Don't be vanilla. What was the original image like? Okay. It's not, I know that's not correctly. Let's see. Don't be vanilla. It's got this right, but it hasn't got my name right. It's got this right. Sorry, I had my hand over my mouth. It's got this right, but not the... We've got Vendi. Although you can download this image and then you can upload it into Canva and you can change this to Wendy. So that image is actually usable, thinking about it. I just don't tend to upload images into, don't be vanilla. Oh. So, um, let's just do the word. See? So people get frustrated because they don't get what they want first time round. However, you have to tweak, you have to play with. You can't just accept what it gives you first time. You need to adapt, think about your layers, think about the composition, colors, background. Oh, let's see. Don't. Oh, is that a B? Yay. Got it. Perfect. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> Watch. Oh, it's about wrong. Thank you. <laughs> this content may violate our content policy. If you believe. Oh, I was only saying thank you. If that happens, what you want to do is just say create an image that doesn't violate the policy. I mean, saying thank you, I have no idea why I would do that. Let's just try something else. Make this a, hang on, make this image the same. But make okay copy the prompt in let's see so keep this image the same but make luxury let's see what type of um how it comes out i'm going to use this image that'd be great for a blog post i mean great for social media we can have a bit of copy, a bit of copy to entice people in, and then have the image, and then a light landscape, then have the link to the post. Uh, no, it's made the vanilla too flashy. Okay, so there you go. That's how you turn a blog article into an image that you can use on your website. Any questions, leave them below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you given it a go? Yeah. Enjoy.